The fastest house in the world, brought to you by Habitat for Humanity. You're about to witness something extraordinary. These volunteers are just about to attempt to break the Habitat World speed built record set in America last year. Now over there, they build a house in just over four and a half hours. And when I say build a house, I mean kitchen in, carpets down, paint on, mailbox up, the works. But it's not just a house, it's a home. The first home a family of six, soon to be seven, have ever owned. What we're trying to do is take the people in, is in need and we're trying to rebuild our society one family at a time. Habitat is not a handout, it's a hand up. They have to pay for the house and so Habitat actually charges for the house. They have a mortgage and they pay for the house on a no profit and no interest basis. Two, one, let's go! The Habitat team in Nashville, Tennessee set the speed build time to beat. Building a three bedroom house, floor to finish in an incredible four hours, 39 minutes, eight seconds. It's taken over a year to plan the New Zealand speed build. Habitat have put together a team of skilled and dedicated people with a background in building. On the day, they'll be supported by more than 100 volunteers. John Parr is the man responsible for making sure the record attempt goes according to plan. He's an expert in the critical change scheduling system that will be used to keep the project on track. Down to the finish point. We're doing this for a Habitat world record. And uh, the, the rules, as they say it, is that uh, we're allow allowed to start with a floor, with the base, and build from there. So that, that's what we've done. Yes, there has been a lot of uh, pre-assembly go on. We know that the people in Tennessee who did this uh, also had done a lot of pre-assembly. So really, we're not building a house, we're assembling a house. When you build a house this quickly, how do you keep the site safe? Oh, it's absolutely paramount that we keep the site safe. And that's one of the reasons we have said uh, uh, unknown uh, account is a trade to go into a room when there's another trade in there. One trade, one room. How long do you think it'll take? If Murphy doesn't strike, then two and three quarter. But things will go wrong. We know it will. So I'm picking three and a half hours. We'll see. Six, five, four, three, two, one. But little did the speed build team know, the next four and a half hours were to provide some unexpected surprises. Well, the race is on. Can the speed build team build a house in less than four and a half hours? There are over a hundred volunteers here. Builders, electricians, plumbers, and then of course there are team leaders and supervisors, each with a set task to do. And they've got some big challenges. The workers have got to keep out of each other's road. There are safety issues. Quality can't be sacrificed for speed. And finally, the house won't be declared finished until it has the building inspector's seal of approval. Uh, we had a total, I believe, of uh, 229 skilled people on site. We had it pretty well organised, the project management guy. He had it all planned out down to the minute. From the speed build command post, John Parr marshals the troops for the assault on the record. John, all the steering walls fitted. So, how are we going, John? Oh, absolutely fantastically. Um, uh, all the buffers are zero, which means we're at least uh, on time, and in fact, we're probably about 10 minutes ahead of time at this stage. Yeah, we use panelised system. Um, all of the, the walls were packed on top of the floor, stacked in the right order, and then they had to be raised up. So we can have seven metres of complete wall that goes up in one go. At the same time as the laser-built panels are being erected, the roof is assembled on the section next door. And then we had a big crane on site and at the right time a horn blasted and everyone got out of the house and the roof was lifted on top of the house. Help! Everybody out! It's a critical moment for the speed build. Time to place the roof carefully onto the house itself. Now, as you've seen, this roof has been built completely separately from the rest of the house, and the home-built team is hoping this will gain them precious minutes in their race against the clock. Not bad. Where does it? We certainly a lot better off than we were before. Inside, it's organised chaos as the trades compete for space to finish their work. Oh, hey, can you leave those doors off the hall till we've done the carpet? Three hours ago, this was a bare construction site. Now it's starting to show signs of the leafy garden it will one day become, right down to the spray-on lawn. No, they haven't decided to cheat and paint the dirt green. This mix of grass seed will have the real stuff sprouting in no time. 
Yeah, Time for a bit of interior decorating. After all, the speed bill promise is that the house will be ready for Nutelli, Lynetta and the kids to move in. Which means it's time to remove the evidence of a hundred workmen's muddy boots and add the final touches. We'd had a rotary hoe in and rotary hoed all the soil. For Nutelli, it isn't home until he's dug in his own tower. Uh, the house is finished. Um, the building inspector had inspected it and approved it. Three hours, 44 minutes and 59 seconds. The Speed Build team have smashed the Tennessee record by a massive 55 minutes. It's a hand up and this is what it's all about. We're helping a family who was there come up here. This makes your heart pretty good. We never thought in a million years that we'll own a place at this time of our lives. I'm pr I am proud of being involved in Habitat. I think it's just a wonderful organisation.